exploring the frontiers of science, probing cutting edge technologies, seeking answers to the big questions. Welcome to SciTech Central. Half of all people over the age of 60 will experience some kind of swallowing problem. Therapists and patients have long lacked a verification of progress in their rehabilitation. But now, an innovative system offers real-time feedback that can make a huge difference. Let's bring it all the way back down. My swallowing problem started about ready. a little over two years ago. Richard Kennedy has dysphagia, a swallowing disorder usually caused by muscle or nerve damage. Over the age of 60, half of all people will experience some kind of difficulty swallowing, so it really is an issue that we should all care Are about and be aware okay? of. Oh, I'm feeling great. All right, you ready to do a little bit of exercise? Yes. Okay. Like let's, anyone would be, it. it really affected him not being able to eat or drink. He would tell me stories about, oh, we used to go, I used to go with my dad to the ballpark and eat hot dogs and I wish I could have a hot dog or, you know, my mom made the best hamburgers and I wish I could have a hamburger. And it, you hurt for them. Okay, so I'm just putting this on. This is a sensor. It's going to tell me um, and tell him about muscle movement. The system so is I've called Synchrony, up, and what it is is it's a biofeedback machine. So we place an electrode on the neck. When she put the electro on me, it tickled me. <laughs> Synchrony uses biofeedback signals to create a visual representation of what's happening when a patient swallows. It provides information that is translated through a wireless connection Swallow to a time. computer screen. And then it gives us a printout that we can see in real time. And that helps the therapist to see. And it also helps the patient to see. Wait until you get there and then take a drink. By incorporating game-based exercise activities, the program assists speech-language pathologists in getting patients to reestablish normal nerve and muscle firing patterns. If you can show them with that visual, okay, that was close but not quite, and then finally they get it and you're like, that was it, and they can see it, and That's then they good. try to okay. replicate that same Perfect. pattern on the graph, now I'm gonna start they, they really can make some quick progress. Okay. They don't have as much guesswork, and you don't have as much guesswork as we used to. Only after she put the electrodes on me did I see the graft to actually see the results That's good. of me swallowing slower. When you see what you're doing on a graph, Wait a minute. it Let simplifies it, it. A long time ago, we really didn't have much to offer people with swallowing problems. Then electrical stimulation came along, and that was a really a, a big step forward. The component that we were lacking is some kind of objective data that you could have on a session-by-session -session basis to see what was actually happening, and, and that's what this has provided. In the past, you would say, do an effortful swallow. Ready. And they'd say, okay, I did it. Nice and you thought they did it, but swallow. I mean, really, how can you objectively know uh, if they really did it or not? And this gives you some actual uh, a visual that you can see. Relax, though, and then a hard swallow. All Perfect. the time that, that I that couldn't swallow, I missed water. Hold and it. then when That's my throat you was you got all three coins. eligible for real water. Just swallow in real water today. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> to see him progress from not having anything to the point he is now where he can have anything he wants to eat or drink, it's really a wonderful thing. And he's just thrilled with it. He's come out of his shell and he's just loving life. We're a story to tell to the nation that I want everybody to know that this lady knows how to get me to swallow.